What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we are back with another video. So today you guys, I want to talk about having emotional like releases. So during this time of the Pisces new moon, what's going on is just so much emotions are being brought up to the surface that you need to feel, right? And most of us don't like feeling feelings. We don't like feeling emotions uh, to my earth signs and my air signs, AKA me. Um, emotions is just not something that we really like to tune into, but it is something that we need to release. Emotions are healthy. They are good to feel. It's okay to feel those emotions and allow them to flow, allow them to fall, because what we're doing is that it's not the fact that we're too emotional. It's the fact that we're holding in so much emotions that when it is released, it is purged, purged extremely in different types of levels. And instead of us taking moments to actually just feel and release those emotions day by day, whenever we have them, because we go through so many different emotions daily, we try to suppress them. Let's just move on. Let's not feel this. No, feel it. Feel it. Obviously, there's a time and place, but feel it. Sit with it. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to cry. And be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself in those very moments. Show up for that inner child who needs that love and that healing in that very moment. Show up for yourself and whatever healing that, uh, emotions that you're purging. You know, and, and I, am, I am one to talk as well. Because I tend to hold things in and not really want to allow it out. But the past couple of days, I've just been really like crying. And I'm like, I have to show up for myself in these very moments. Because if I don't show up for myself, how do I expect somebody else to show up for me? You get what I'm saying? I have to love myself in those moments. I have to be kind to myself and speak speak life into me. Speak the, you know, good energy into me. And it's okay to... To not always have a great day it's okay to not always be positive the whole point about life is learning how to go with the flow learning how to go with the emotions and not allow them to basically write don't act on your emotions like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be rude to someone because i'm just not feeling good that's not the whole point the point is learning how to manage your emotions in those circumstances in those moments and not purging them out to somebody else, but taking time to reflect on them and sit with them without releasing them or projecting them onto other people because it is not other people's fault why you're feeling that way. Someone's like, oh, you made me mad. Can nobody make you mad unless you give them the power to? They triggered something inside you. Why? Someone gets irritated because something was out of their control. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're taking their time. Da -da -da -da. Maybe someone wasn't patient with you growing up. Maybe that's it. And you've, you've adapted to just being angry at everyone and being impatient with everyone because the lack of patience someone gave you. I remember this because I used to be like that. I'd be irritated when things weren't going my way or flowing in my direction. The truth is no one sat with me. No one was patient with me as a child that I started being impatient with everybody else, including myself. Give yourself grace and patience and be kind to yourself. Remember, you are either your biggest supporter or your biggest enemy. And you definitely don't want to be your biggest enemy. We talk more crap about ourselves than anybody else in the world does. So this is the video that I wanted to give you guys. Be kind to yourself during this new moon and allow your emotions to come up. Sit with yourself. Don't try to run from them. Don't try to hide from them, but, a, but feel. Feel those emotions coming up. It's okay to feel. It's okay to sit with them. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Be patient with yourself. Be that parent that you wish you had growing up. That's it for today. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.